Okay. <laughs> All right. I think this is my third attempt for this morning message. I have no idea what's happening. Well, I do know what's happening. What's happening is that I am an hour out of a colonoscopy where I was under general anesthesia. And I'm just home. And instead of writing in my journal, I thought, let me press record and share the the intensity of what I'm feeling right now. Now, if you've ever had a colonoscopy, you know it is not pretty. The whole 24 hours before of prepping and fasting and staying up late and all that, then being under general anesthesia. And so I woke up just about an hour ago in this bright room, fluorescent lights, cold. It was so cold with a stupid robe on. And I, once I got myself oriented as to where I was, this massive, massive insight came through me. Take care of yourself, Kara. Take care of yourself and be so healthy that you avoid at all costs being in this hospital environment. Wow. It was a download that ran through my veins. And I want to share this with you because, like I said, I'm still shaky right now, which is why maybe it took me three times to actually find the record button. I'm a little shaky, but uh, there's, a, there's a conviction inside of me that, that I hope that you hear for you. We get 30,000 days on average in our lives, 82 years. At 56, you know, I'm two-thirds I'm two thirds through. I, hey, I'd love to live long, long, healthy, vibrant, collaborative, creative life. But it's not going to happen unless I take supreme care of myself. Supreme. Not just a little bit. Because a little bit, you know what? Lands you in, in the hospital. It lands you in doctor's appointments and needles and medicine and all that stuff as you get older supremely healthy, supremely healthy so that you are a force of nature, that you live a happy, vibrant, creative life. So for my, in my life, the last couple of years has been a struggle health-wise. Now it hasn't been major and I'm so grateful, but it's been minor and chronic, which in some ways is just as lethal minor and chronic chronic fatigue chronic chronic stress chronic sleep disorder chronic weight gain chronic irritability chronic brain fog in the past year or so I've gotten a really really good hold on this and have made great improvements since really focusing on my microbiome and my gut health And it's so important, my friends. So reach out to me if you want to hear what I'm doing. But I want to share this with you this morning because you are worth every second of your full presence and care towards yourself. Make today your day one of taking supreme care. And this has nothing to do with anyone else what you put in your body, what you ingest, what you allow into your mind, how you take on other people's shit, right? How you allow other people's opinions to affect yours. It all matters. It all accumulates. So here I am. This is what I would have written in my journal, committed to vitality, committed to vigor, I'm committed to awakening, waking up from the patterns of my mind, the unhelpful crap that I've carried along for all these years. Right? I'm committed to, to offering my best self out into the world. And wh- how it lands for others, I don't care. If I know if it's coming through me authentically, then it's going to be generous and genuine. And in some way, it's going to help others. And so me first, 
you first. What does that look like for you? I'd love to know. I'd love to support you. And I would love to hear what's going on for you. And when have you had a wake-up call like this? That's all I have. That's all I have. I've got to go get something to eat. I need some coffee. And I need to relax today and let myself just ease out of this trauma for the last 24 hours. Thank you so much for joining in. I so value you and and this platform. Please share it with a friend because uh, this is how we grow. This is how these messages grow and touch others. Thank you so much. Take care.